Well, a new survey says that 2011 could be a good year to sell your business. With over 50,000 businesses currently for sale, bizbuysell.com is the most heavily trafficked online business for sale marketplace. And a survey last month of business brokers shows 76 percent believe 2011 will be a good year to sell. And more than two-thirds of that group said that's because the economy is starting to recover. Joining us to talk about this is Mike Handelsman, general manager of bizbuysell.com. Mike, good to have you here on Street Smart. So talk to us about this survey, what was the most revealing thing in your view? I think generally um, the fact that brokers are finally optimistic about the opportunity to sell businesses. It's been a long two and a half years and uh, it's good to see things turning up. You know, Mike, there's optimism and then there's optimism. I mean, really, how optimistic are they? And I mean, give us some perspective. I mean, if they're coming from really, really low levels, even a slight change mm -hmm. can look like a big difference. But give us a little bit more perspective. Yeah, well, it's been a long two and a half years, as we said, and I think for the most part, uh, for the last two years plus, um, there's been a real challenge for businesses to change hands because there's been a lack of available financing options for, for business buyers. We have high unemployment, and a lot of those unemployed people would like to create jobs by being entrepreneurs, but the broker st stated that uh, the number one reason businesses weren't changing hands was because of lack of financing options. Let's talk about the financing environment. It's interesting because earlier on Street Smart, we talked about financing in the private equity world and how that is really helping yes. uh, kind of grease the wheels for deals to be done uh, and private equity uh, investments to kind of turn around here. Financing, so is it getting better when it comes to uh, uh, for small businesses and, and looking to sell their businesses? Yeah, things are definitely getting better. You know, you mentioned the private equity markets, and those are generally dealing with what what we call middle market businesses, those with you know earnings uh, north of one or three million dollars. The area that Biz Buy Sell tends to concentrate on are the very small businesses, those with uh, revenues under a million dollars or sale prices of under a million. Um, and we're definitely seeing an improvement there because as the federal government has pushed more stimulus into the economy and encouraged banks to lend, that's going to generally trickle down and allow buyers to get access to financing. I'm curious if you, in terms of your survey, address the issue of QE2 at all, because you talk about how much the government has pumped into the system, and that's definitely helped out everybody. What happens when the government uh, takes their foot off the gas pedal here uh, in terms of QE2 and other programs? Are your small business constituency uh, kind of worried about that? Well, I think, you know, at the, at the level of the individual small business buyer, uh, I don't think they're in, in tune as much with what the government's doing. What they are seeing on the street level is they're seeing that their local bank, who has generally been reluctant to, to uh, approve loans to uh, unemployed people or small business buyers without a lot of capital to put up, the government's pushing that money down into the local uh, community lending and the larger SBA bank lending environment mm. to create money for small business buyers to actually be able to borrow and then buy a small business. And that's what's going to get things moving. And that's interesting to hear because there's been some debate about whether or not banks are really kind of opening up their coffers and, and releasing money. So mm -hmm. your guys are saying, yep, that is happening. I think it is happening. It's definitely happening at a slow level. It's not a, an avalanche of funding reaching the market, but I would say it's a, a, a slow trickle that's getting a little bit larger in volume every month that goes by. All right. So some optimism, but in terms of getting back to the pre-recession pre levels, we still have to wait for mm -hmm. that. We do. I mean, I think that we, we track the number of closed uh, small business transactions at bizbysell.com, and those numbers are still about 40% down from what they were uh, in the pre-recessionary times. However, in Q4 of 2010, small business transactions were up over 10% year mm -hmm. over year, and for the full year 2010, they were up about 2.9%. You know, Mike, we were just talking uh, prior to our discussion um, with two gentlemen and discussing about the budget and the deficit and all the, all the stuff coming out of Washington, whether we need to, in terms of cutting back spending, tax issues, and so on and so forth. What about uh, small businesses in terms of tax issues? How is that impacting them? Right. In the survey, we asked the brokers whether um, changes to tax code is affecting small business buyers and small business sellers. Uh, more than half of the brokers we surveyed said that the extension of the capital gains tax rate, for example, had no impact on the small business transaction economy. Mm. We did see a little bit in Q4 of 2010. I think we saw some accelerated transactions because there was a threat that the capital gains tax rate would not be extended. Um, and, then, and I think that caused some deals to actually close during that time period. Mike, just got a few seconds left here. So bottom line here, and I think about, you know, our viewers and investors who are listening to what you have mm -hmm. to say, what should be their takeaway in terms of what you're seeing uh, and what that says about small business and really what it says about the overall economy? Right. I think, you know, if you're a small business owner and you've been sitting on the sideline for two years waiting to sell, waiting for your business to get better, I think it's finally a time where you're going to start to see buyers with 
capital available to them mm -hmm. who can actually transact. And I think that's going to help our economy get moving because, as we know, um, job creation really happens with small businesses, not as much with large businesses. Absolutely. Good to get some time. Hey, Mike, take care. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. All right. We're